The M1128 mobile gun system is an eight-wheeled armored car of the Stryker Armored Fighting Vehicle family, mounting a 105mm tank gun, based on the Canadian LAV-3 light armored vehicle manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems for the U.S. Army. The Stryker mobile gun system was the first Army system fielded with an autoloader, which was state-of-the-art at the time. But over the years, as the service has grown, the autoloader has become expensive to maintain. The MGS's low-profile turret has a small silhouette, is stabilized, and mounts a 105mm M68A1 E4 rifled cannon with a fume extractor and an autoloader. The vehicle is primarily outfitted to support infantry combat operations, while it could take on some of the roles of a tank, it is not primarily intended nor designed to engage in combat with main battle tanks. The MGS can store 18 rounds of ammunition for the main gun, 8 in the autoloader's carousel and an additional 10 in a replenisher located at the rear of the vehicle. It has a rate of fire of 10 rounds per minute. The MGS's 105mm cannon can fire four types of ammunition, the M900 Kinetic Energy Penetrator to destroy armored vehicles, the M456A2 High Explosive Anti-Tank Round to destroy thin-skinned vehicles and provide anti-personnel fragmentation, the M393A3 High Explosive Squash Head Plastic Round to destroy bunkers, machine guns, and sniper positions, and create openings in walls for infantry to access and the M1040 canister shot for use against dismounted infantry in the open, and the M3. The Stryker MGS has enabled Stryker Brigade combat teams to provide direct supporting fires to assault infantry by destroying or suppressing hardened enemy bunkers, machine guns, and sniper positions in urban, restricted, and open rolling terrain. This Stryker model was developed with a flat-bottom chassis, the Army said, and was never upgraded to deal with improvised explosive devices or anti-tank mines. Army officials looked at the system's weaknesses and decided that the money would be better spent updating other parts of the Stryker fleet, like the medium-caliber weapons system, the common remotely operated weapons station javelin, the anti-tank guided missile updates, and the 30mm cannon. The service said it will keep supporting and using other Stryker models, like the double V-hull and vehicles with upgrades to make them more dangerous, until the M1128 is completely taken out of service. Divesting this striker will not affect the industrial base, since it has been out of production for some time, the Army said. Most of the items needed to sustain the M1128 striker are also needed to support other variants in the striker fleet, it added.